Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. We got a Thunderhawk today, and this is the blaster that I'm going to be reviewing. Let's get into it. So if you are blissfully unaware of what this blaster is, I believe this was a 2018 release in the Mega Series, and it was a complete disaster. You can't really tell why just by looking at it, I mean it looks pretty cool, it's a big chungus Mega Blaster that you hold like this. Oh! It's, it's, it's very wide. And wait, wait, oh! I think it just got really hot in here. So yeah, this blaster combined the idea of the deploy, which wasn't very well received in more recent years, and the idea of the Battle Scout, which was never well received at all, and made it shoot mega darts, and this thing exists. And it is absolutely ridiculous, and the only reason that I have it here is because I found it at Dollar General for about $20. Half the retail price of what it originally was worth. That should tell you everything you need to know. And I didn't even find this blaster like back in 2018. I found this at Dollar General in late 2021. Late 2021. That is genuinely the only reason I have this because I was not planning on getting one of these, but when I saw them at Dollar General and they only wanted 20 bucks for them, I said, how could you go wrong? It's $20 and it's a pretty cool looking blaster. I could probably do something fun with it. Uh, this thing is ridiculous. Look at it. Just look at it. They tried to give it a tactical swag thing here. It now is super front heavy and it looks like a submarine. Hopefully this one doesn't implode and it is just, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. We got to get started with the design. The design of this blaster is super, 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 super basic and I don't know why because look at all the space here. They could have done any design they wanted to, but most of the blaster is just a blank red block of plastic with this little black detail here and the black and white details at the back and then the orange front end and the giant orange clip. But the actual blaster actually has a lot of details in the shell, but you can't really notice them because they're all red. It's actually got quite a bit of greebling that looks pretty cool, as well as the camo style that they always do on Mega Blasters. I think the blaster itself looks very nice. It just really sucks that they didn't go anywhere with it. They could have painted all these details black, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing with it because I do plan on modding this to make it better, but... I, I have no idea. Hasbro, why? Why did you leave so much empty space on such a cool looking blaster? And that's not even taken into consideration the fact that it can do this. That is the entire gimmick. It does that. It opens. It closes. It's pretty smooth to open it and close it, but it doesn't lock. It constantly falls open and falls closed with the slightest bit of momentum. So while you're running around with this thing on the field and you tilt it down, there goes the barrel. You look up, oh, here comes the barrel again. Oh no, oh no, this is a disaster. And it actually is kind of a disaster when you're trying to use this because there is no locking point to keep this thing from opening and closing. And one really weird design detail, here's the tactical rail. I, I have my hand on the tactical rail. Now the tactical rail is all the way out here. So if you did plan on putting a scope or an optic or something on this, you, you, that's basically useless because it's going to end up way too far away from you. And that is the only rail on the whole blaster. So that just begs the question, why did they put the rail there in the first place? I have never put anything on this rail as long as I have had this blaster. That should tell you everything you need to know about the rail. But what about the ergonomics? I mean, you've kind of got this, this foregrip here, except it's a bipod, but we'll get into the bipod later. It does work as a pretty good foregrip. The main grip, oh no. Oh no. This is like an elite junior sized grip. Look how tiny it is. It's very small. It's a pistol grip. And the stock isn't even a stock. It's a retaliator stock. It's like a wrist brace. I mean, you can use it as a stock. The stock itself is super comfortable. It's actually very smooth and filleted. And it's a piece that's attached from the back. So it's actually very nice to hold onto and use it as a stock. But the grip is too small and the stock is too short. 
and mixed with the foregrip, it's just, it feels like a Hobbit's primary. It doesn't feel like a good primary. The trigger though is very nice. It has a very responsive pull to it and it has a nice metal spring inside of it. Plus the trigger itself is rounded, smooth, and filleted. So I like the trigger and I like the stock and I like the foregrip. The main grip completely kills it. Oh, but don't worry, they compensated with the priming handle. How does this blaster work? Well, you just saw the operation. It is a clip-fed blaster. You have a 10-round Mega Dart clip. Yeah, this is just 10 rounds. That's how big the clip has to be for 10 rounds. Well, it doesn't have to be. There's dead space on either end, but don't worry about that. You load in 10 Mega Darts, you push this thing to the other end, it stops at that point, it doesn't go out any further, and then you prime it. it. The prime is really rough because it has to advance the clip, but I can excuse it for that. And then it's single shot. It doesn't have slam fire. I really wouldn't want to use slam fire on something like this because having to have, having to hold it like this is miserable. I always hold it like this, and then with my main hand, I prime the blaster because that is the only way to actually get semi-comfortable usage out of it. And just for the laughs, it's got a big bipod that has a super goofy angle. Look at this. This is the angle that it shoots at. And actually, it's not a bad angle at all, even though it looks funny. The thing about Nerf blasters is you traditionally want to shoot them at an angle to get optimal distance anyway, and this angle is perfect for getting the optimal distance. So while I know this looks funny, it actually does benefit you when you're trying to use this thing in combat because the angle is predetermined to get the most distance you can possibly get out of the blaster. And since this is a Mega AccuStrike blaster, one of only three Mega AccuStrike blasters ever officially released, which really sad, very sad, you will actually probably be able to hit whatever you're aiming at, at least until you do this. Why does it do that? Hasbro, you could have just made this the blaster and it probably would have been seen a lot better than it currently is. As I said earlier, the gimmick is that the barrel expands and collapses to make the blaster really big or really compact, even though it really isn't compact. The blaster already is huge. It's bigger than a rapid strike and an ultra one combined. But when you actually extend the barrel out, all that does is move these two walls further away from the barrel, increasing the probability of getting squibs, which is really annoying. And I actually had quite a few problems with squibs when I was using standard Mega Darts. Not really when I was using Mega AccuStrike Darts, but Mega Darts don't go where you're aiming them. They have the same consistency as a Nerf Elite Dart, so they just fly in whatever direction they want. And constantly, I would get darts clipping the sides of this and either just fishtailing off or actually hitting it and bouncing out. That was really weird. And I had a lot of other weird various malfunctions like that, which kind of inhibited the ability to use the blaster in its extended form. It definitely looks cool like this, but I would always prefer to use it in its collapsed form or at this sort of midway point right here, where it's not too long to where you get squibs, but it is long enough to where it definitely gets the visual appearance of the blaster in its extended form. Though if you really want to, you can push it out further. It probably won't get squibs, but you might. I also think it's interesting how the Mega logo is directly above the clip in its extended form, and it is directly above the priming handle in its collapsed form. That's actually a pretty cool design choice, and I'm actually happy they did that because it makes this blaster look a little bit more consistent no matter how you hold it, which is really nice. I'm shooting it with the accurate darts because that'll get the best experience with it. So this isn't an inherently bad blaster, but I don't know why Hasbro decided to release it in the first place because this thing was surrounded by two substantially better Mega Blasters, the Twin Shock and the Megalodon. 
Uh, both of those are way better than this. I can't even find the Megalodon anymore. I really wish I could because I seriously want to get one of those. But the Thunderhawk was just like that one in between that existed for no reason and then it just disappeared and then it came back a few years later for revenge, but it's, it's the same blaster. They didn't change anything. I feel like this thing has a lot of potential because of how big the shell is. You could probably do a lot of interesting mods with this. And the fact that they have the hole in here means that you could probably make it take magnets magazines without too much trouble, but I don't even want to try and figure out how to do that. The blaster itself, it's alright, I guess. I mean, please don't buy one. It's just, it's really mediocre. I, the grip is too small. It is the Mega Thunderhawk. It's really weird. I don't know how to finish this video. If I can find a buy link, I will link it in the description below, but I mean, seriously, I don't know why this blaster was released. I, again, I don't think it's inherently bad. It's just mediocre, and I don't understand why Hasbro put it out on the market when they could have put anything else on the market. But yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. Bye.